the evidence. Michael Asorga's attorney stressed again today to jurors that prosecutors do not have any evidence to place Astorga at the scene where Bernalillo County Sheriff's deputy was shot to death. But what a CSI said today on the stand puts some holes in his claim. News 13's Maria Medina is covering the trial and has more from district court. And Kim Astorga's attorney argued if his client did shoot Deputy James McGrain Jr., then why weren't two key pieces of evidence ever found on Astorga's truck? Gunshot residue and the victim's blood. Astorga is accused of gunning down Deputy McGrain on a dark highway into Harris during a traffic stop. Prosecutors say Astorga did it to avoid capture because he had a warrant out for his arrest on an unrelated crime. Today marked the second day prosecutors called witnesses, one of them a medical investigator who testified McGrain died from a gunshot wound to his face at close range, about 12 inches away or less. Astorga's attorney argues if McGrain was shot at close range, there should be blood and gunshot residue on and inside Astorga's truck. But an investigator on the case took the stand and claimed that doesn't mean anything. Real fine blood stains um, don't travel very far. So to me, of all these years of experience and training uh, that I have done uh, many of these scenes, uh, it's not uncommon uh, that I didn't uh, find blood on the vehicle. And police found Astorga in Juarez, Mexico about two weeks later. Prosecutors claim he bragged about killing Deputy McGrain to friends. If found guilty, Astorga could be sentenced to death by a different jury. Kim? Okay, thanks, Maria. Now, investigators never found the 10-millimeter gun used to kill Deputy McGrain. Astorga's attorney plans to call several witnesses who he says can place his client at a home in Albuquerque at the time of the murder.